You know, some people know how to do more with less. Miranda Cochran is one of them. The 12 year old is a competitive dancer in Frisco. So, why does she inspire so many people around her? Channel 8's David Schechter has the story. You've heard of sleight of hand. Now, how about sleight of foot? Behind the grinning, go ahead and use your face, and tapping. There's no pity. The very act of doing what Miranda Cochran does there you go. is downright inspiring. Good job, good job. When people tell me I inspire them, I know. So why does she inspire people? Well, Miranda Cochran was born without a left foot. So she's had to learn to walk and dance and do everything else on a prosthetic leg. Sometimes I just don't really think of it. I just go on and do everything, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, I have a prosthetic leg. She must have forgotten about that prosthetic leg while winning all these trophies. That one was my duet from like three years ago. Such great energy. I'm just in awe. I'm just watching it awe. Competing with girls who have both their legs and beating them. But did she get special consideration? No. I think it should all be equal. We're all just dancing. And if you notice here, she's able to use her foot to hold herself up where she cannot use her left foot. From the very beginning, her mom, Carrie, I'll chose to raise her daughter you. with the philosophy that's paying off today. Pick yourself up and don't give up. I yeah. mean, I've never ever let her, you know, have her leg, leg as an excuse. That means working harder. Look closely. Miranda's prosthetic foot won't bend at the ankle can't point her toe like the other girls do. So she's always inventing ways to compensate and inspire, starting with her teachers. My favorite saying is talent is work, and she works every day. Her mom. That through her grades and through her dancing, she makes me very proud. Herself. I think that it's good for me. It gives me a challenge to work up to. And, oh, Miranda. Yeah, Miranda. and her friends. <laughs> David Schechter, Channel 8 News.